All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm Cordy here. We are back with a special edition of Market Watch. We're going to have the regular version tomorrow as well. Um, but Austin's been going through cards all night here and uh, found me some nice little presents that I actually forgot about. So maybe we're going to turn into that guy for the rest of the format because we're already halfway done for the hard stuff. We just got to find one more and we're good to go. So, well, without further ado, while I decide if I want to be that guy for the rest of the format, let's dig on into Market Watch, shall we? All right, we're kind of doing an emergency-esque Market Watch today because there's been a couple of spikes and, well, you know, we are coming off of the lovely things that we love in this market. So first up, we have 5% available kickback right now. Uh, this is going to go until this afternoon. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting this, you know, TCG Player does wonderful things with giving additional store credit to your account. So it's definitely something to take care of. So with the surge of True Draco this weekend, uh, we've actually kind of seen a spike in this, and I don't necessarily support this buyout. I actually think this one's more dumb than anything. But you're looking at $17 a piece for 2018 Mega Packs, and then Battle Legends are $13. Literally, when these eight are gone, you're going up to nine or 17. And then regular uh, Crimson Christ or Maximum Crisis copies, $27 a piece. This is just an overall ridiculously dumb buyout. Um, I th this card should never be this high again, but this is at the point we are now. So unfortunately, uh, it's probably going to float about this price. Um, budget players, you had your opportunity to pick these up. It's kind of a shame uh, to see that this is up, but I mean, hey, card of demise is down, so something else I guess has to give in terms of the secondary market. Uh, overall. No real movements in Ignises. Ignises are still holding at sixteen dollars. Uh, this is where they've been for a while. Um, Disciple still at two to three dollars. Apocalypse still holding about two dollars, and then Dynamite's slowly moving up at four dollars for the Maximum Crisis versions. Majesty Maiden's still very cheap, as you can see here. Heritages are also very cheap as well. Literally, the only movement we're seeing right now is Dragonic Diagram in this department. Now, this is an interesting one. So the Mystic Burn list that ended up uh, winning the San Jose Regional, I believe it was this weekend, was actually playing Ledger of Ledgerman, which you banish three cards from the top of your deck, face down, and then during your third standby phase, you get to add those cards back to your hand. Of course, you can only use one Ledger of Ledgerman once per turn. So the thing that you're doing is you're kind of using this to send cards into the future um, and get more card advantage. Now we are down to two pages here and these will probably be disappearing more and more as the day goes here but I mean we're straight one copy a piece from all sellers and you're looking at about four bucks once you start getting down here into this 2.99 shipping crap. So yeah unfortunately Ledger of Ledgerman. It took a deck to slow down the format to the degree that it is now for Ledger of Ledgerman to actually see play, um, which I, I guess uh, this is just one of those what the fucks, why are we doing this type cards, and well, here we are. Now, Wave Motion Cannons. So this is the heart and soul of the burn deck. We, we've been following this every market watch now. Super Rares, Holding the Line, at, well, there's three light play for eighty nine ninety nine. That's not terrible. But you're still holding land at about $100 a piece. Uh, ye old DR1s coming in about 18 bucks, And then the old MFCs. Oh, man. Coming in so many mod to heavy plays. Like, we, we really start creeping on up here. Yeah, you're looking at about $28 for light play. 25 yeah, 23, the way it looks. So they went from 23 to 25, depending on which copies you want to acquire. Now, mm, buyouts. So, last week on Friday, we saw that MST was getting bought out. Um, we put the placeholder at $100 because they were disappearing. But yeah, uh, you're looking at literally 58 bucks at the moment for Altis. And then Ghost Rares from Haunted Mines. I uh, see we have a light play down here at 12 and then yeah we go up to 17 for near mint very good copies on the market for light plays for the ghost rare and then as you can see a lot of damaged ones hobby leagues what are these actually going for nowadays 
I love a market. Yeah, it's still like four to five bucks for Hobby League MSTs. That's pretty cute. All right, other things getting bought out because of revived hype. Uh, Cosmic Cyclones coming in at twenty twos. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> dollar copies for the Megatons and the T-Dills. Yep, that's that's a thing. Ugh, so bad that those are up. Twin Twisters. All right, six fifties, five fifty fives, Dino Fury at 450 and then yep five bucks so if you're looking to get that spell and trap destruction god this stuff is all up right now all right full house so there was one list that was citing this this weekend and these are relatively cheap um i actually thought that these were going to be up a little bit more than they actually were but we're pretty cheap at the moment on these so yeah 24 cents a piece for secret rares and then astro packs are like 10 cents 10 cents maybe maybe this is the real buyout target maybe you got to come on in here to lc5ds and pick up copies of these because these are looking very good uh we've been following typhoon as well i believe these officially have topped out at ten dollars uh but you've got six listings seven listings available right now uh, there's a good chunk of German supers available from best deals for cards. Actually, these might not be a bad pickup. What do these look like? Hit me with these. Oh, Tifone. Oh, they're Italian. Huh, I might pick up a set of these. It's actually really cool. But, yeah, Typhoons are slowly disappearing. All right, Dark Neostorm in a nutshell. What's kind of going on here? Um, we'll probably we'll cover this again tomorrow, but uh, no materials down to 48s. Uh, Spooky Dogwood's down to 37 Hey, guys, remember when this card was 23 bucks and you should have bought it day one? Now we're holding a line at $34. Sign at Mining's on the, the up and up again. 32 bucks. Cherubini's down to 31s. Abermax is down to 21s. Hey, remember when I said $15 is a good deal for these? Ibs are $15. Those spiked up from 10s. Jesus. Uh, Adelaide's at... 14s. These are 10s. Crackdowns rotating about $4. Mystic Mines down to $279. Um, yeah, nothing else too interesting in this set. But those Ding Dings, though. Um, some interesting stuff on the side here. Um, TP Slate Warriors are actually $35 a piece, going up to $37 a piece, which is also another really stupid value hike in a card. Like, why? Uh, Rescue Cats, um, Turbos are still $25. Bucks. Um, let's see here. Uh, we're still like 6 bucks for the USAs. Dark Revelations, still about 5 bucks. I'm just kind of pointing this out because somebody messaged me and was telling me that cats were kind of disappearing. I was like, oh, well. All right, yeah, it's still decent quantities. Over Raptor spiking and only ten listings available at the moment. Huh? I wonder why this is. It's almost like dinosaurs are doing something. Uh, dinosaurs ended up winning the Kissimmee, Florida regional, actually, so uh, it doesn't surprise me. That we're seeing movement in this guy. Ulti swap frogs actually are pretty down right now. Um, this might be a time to grab some of these. We're holding the line at sixty bucks. Uh, Unlim Super, or Commons are holding at twos, but this is pretty interesting to see that these have fallen so low. Uh, Rebellion King, Leonidas, um, people still think that you can play this against the deck. Um, okay, but they're dollars, I don't agree with this. Uh, t -Dale Magician Navigations, uh, you guys remember when these were up and up? Uh, this was a crash to buy out, back down to $15, ugh. Um, Ulti Treeborn Frogs. Like I said, we're going to cover more of the, the market watchy stuff tomorrow. Alright. I mean, I haven't seen... Oh, there are no near mint first dead frogs on the market. Alright, well that's interesting. That's all I came here for. Uh, danger stuff is rising again. This shouldn't really shock you guys. We've seen this engine go up and down so much. Suchinoko's at 52s. <laughs> 50s on Nessie's. Jackalope's at 22s. Big Foots at $17. Thunderbirds at six bucks, Choopies at fours, but yeah, the Suchis on the rise again. Uh, just wanted to make a point here also that Ulti Galteas are up to seventy five dollars from the sixty eight that they were. No real shocker there. Um, Phantasmi Dragons at the moment are one oh six, and then we're jumping up to one eleven, and then Pot of Duality still holding the line 
at $88. And then last but not least, Pot of Extravagance is officially holding line at $71 today. So we're gonna have regular market watch tomorrow. I just kind of wanted to make a point that, hey guys, like watch Ledger of Ledgerman, watch the Spell and Trap Destruction at the moment, you know, kind of pay attention to this stuff over the next couple of hours, because as the first week of regionals are wrapping up, there are a lot of opportunities to be had. You just, you're gonna have to watch these for yourself and make a decision if you wanna pick them up. So guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market watch. And, well guys, looks like I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.